Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk. Uh, today, I want to talk about thermal expansion, specifically thermal expansion when you're designing plastic plane bearings. One of the most important issues uh, behind understanding PV is designing around those thermal expansion characteristics that each plastic material has. And what's very important is that we're not only designing for the normal operating temperatures, but we're also designing for the minimum operating temperature and the maximum operating temperature. If you don't do that, you could find yourself losing your press fit in cold temperatures or finding yourself expanding beyond the ability of the material to um, a point where it actually seizes up on the shaft. So it's very important that we understand um, all of the parameters, thermal parameters of the application. It, secondarily, it's important to know what the surrounding hardware situation is because some hardware materials will dissipate heat faster and so it's important to know what the housing material is, what the shaft material is, and figure that into our equation. Now since all plastic materials have very specific thermal expansion rates, it's important to look at each one independently. You can't just make a uh, arbitrary statement that all plastic bearings are going to grow and shrink at this this particular rate. They are all different. Uh, we have some plastic materials like our CJ product line that has a thermal expansion very very close to steel. So as you can imagine you know we can run much tighter press fits, uh, smaller press fits, we can run much tighter ID tolerances because that material is going to stay very stable from cryogenic temperatures all the way up to plus 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a very, very stable material. There are other materials, uh, some of the more exotic materials like uh, Torlon and Polyimids and um, Peak and some of these materials that have very good thermal expansion rates so it's easy to control our press fits, our running clearances and still maintain tight tolerances. Other materials like your acetals, your nylons, uh, even some of the PTFE materials like Rulon and fluorescent, some of these materials have um, uh, much broader thermal expansion rates so you have to design a little bit more carefully. Um, then you have things like UHMW that has an expansion rate 13 times greater than steel. As you can imagine, uh, if you're using UHMW in a hot temperature application, and you have too tight of a tolerance on the ID, when that bearing heats up a little bit, you have a great potential for closing in on the shaft and seizing it up. So UHMW would not necessarily be a good choice if you're going to be seeing fairly high operating temperatures. So the bottom line really is this. We, we have to look at each material independently, see what their uh, particular design criteria is, understand what the uh, thermal generation is going to be by the application, what kind of frictional heat potential is there, how tight a tolerances do you want to run, uh, and then dial in what the press fit and the running clearance after press fit is going to be. Um, another thing to, to take note of is that all plastic bearings will have a certain amount of close in after you press it in. So if you add say four thousandths to the uh, outside diameter of the bushing and uh, that, depending on the material, could close in as little as 20% or could close in as much as 100% of that press. That all ends up on the ID, so you have to accommodate that in your running clearances. All of this is uh, something we deal with every day. Um, we invite you to contact TriStar either through our website, tstar.com, use our Ask the Expert um, contact, and uh, we'll be happy to work with you on just determining what exactly is the best press fit and running clearance for the material uh, that you would like to try. And more importantly, we can help you uh, through that selection process to be sure you get just the right material for your application. Thanks for joining us again, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in another Tech Talk.